through game dogs. Um, I want to start off today uh, with the story time. We're going to do another story time. Uh, this story time is about my Belgian Malawi, okay, guys? Um, hey, you've been seeing that I've been posting up there. Um, Rock Country Gang Dog has made history. And um, with this breeding here, I can say that we truly have uh, made history, you know what I mean? And this wasn't something that... Um, I just come up with this wasn't something that I'm just is it, it, make believe anything like that, um, or just giving you boosting guys up to understand anything. If you want to listen, you can listen now. If you want to sign up, hey, be my guest. You know what I mean? I'm not asking you guys, but uh, for my community and dog lover community, just not the pit bull community. Uh, dog lover community because this right here is a big um it's a big thing for rock country game dogs um i can not say it's a big thing for rock country game dogs and i get more detail to that uh but if you have seen me uh post on my instagram or the rock country game dogs um uh youtube channel you see a lot of my Malawas up there, and you see that I have posted just recently that I have uh, made history with this with these dogs, a uh, line of dogs. Um, and I want to break it down to get more in detail on how I made history for people who doesn't believe in thing, which is like I said, I wouldn't care. Um, it's it's facts. I have receipts. You know what I mean, and everything is is proven here. So, uh, like I said, guys, other than that, though, I'm going to tell you the story. And this right here is story time about uh, Rock Country Gang Dog Diss, which is uh, Belgian Malawi. And I'm going to break down her line of family and what caused this to be a history making, uh, breeding, and history making uh, uh, dog care. Um,. Okay, uh, start off by this. This right here, boom, is Rocky Kennel's desk. Okay, that right there is Rocky Kennel's desk. Okay, um, this is a Belgian Malawa. Okay, she is uh from um Slovakia. Uh, passport, everything is proven. Um, she is born and raised in Slovakia. She was an army dog, uh, and then became a police dog. Okay. Um, I acquired this dog, uh, through Europe by getting in touch with a good friend, you know what I mean? And I went, and what made me get the dog, let's go back to that, what made me get her was the principle that, uh, my homeboy wanted me to do some bite work training with his dogs, and he had Dutch Shepherds, you know what I mean? He had Dutch Shepherds and a guy, and you'll see a video of uh, those dogs, if you go back into my um, video history, you'll see me did a video with those guys. Uh, but they had Dutch Shepherd, and one of them had a Malawi. And i always been interested in Malawi dogs, okay? The best of Malawi, i always been interested in them. So I um, did my research on finding dogs. I ended up buying Rock Country Game Dog Crenshaw, okay? Now, Rock Country Game Dog Crenshaw come from overseas as well, but he comes from a different place in a different uh, kennel than Rock Country Game Dog Des. All right, but they're both from overseas. So I bought Crenshaw for ten thousand, and one of the best dogs, uh, Malawi lines, and the only male Malawi that I ever own um, is is just absolutely great, absolutely great. Can't say nothing bad about it. Uh, I'm just full blown, just, just over the top. You know, Malagator, Belgian Malawi. You know what I mean? Um, so I ended up getting him, and then as I get him, I had got an offer to buy a female. Where, like I said, she was previously a army dog and a police dog, but um, got deterred away because of how high her drive literally was you know what i mean so it it, it 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 stopped a lot of things from that and 
and she was one of the dolls from the last of the Mohicans, and I'll get in that, okay? Um, but anyway, um, I ended up acquiring her, you know what I mean? Got her shipped down here um, from Slovakia, you know what I mean? Got her shipped down and been working with her. You got to go through a program with dolls like that where um, you have to do like a six-week camp, a program training just to be able to have this dog. You know what I mean? That's how high of a caliber dog she is. Okay, so seeing that she's bred that way, uh, we're going to drop her pigs and stuff um, down up here. You'll see her pigs right there. Um, you know, with this dog here and what makes it history, let's, let's get on that part. With this dog here and what make and what make what I did in my kennel history is the fact that she's come from a breeding that called Last of the Mohicans, okay? It's a breeding called Last of the Mohicans, all right? And I'm going to break this down fine for you, okay? Now, her father, okay, which is this dog here. All right, you can see him. If this dog here, that's the father, okay? See, now the father and this one particular mother. Now, before I'm recording this video, before I actually get a picture dropped of her mother from the actual kennel, um, that her mother produced it, and I've been in touch with those guys and letting them know that I'm about to drop a video, and I'm going to send it a link to this video so they can see and uh, verify everything that I'm saying. Um, and they're in Europe, okay? But, um, this, this particular dam to these puppies, okay? She was a one-of-a-kind dam, okay? She was an old jip, and she, she, she wasn't bred often, all right? She wasn't bred often. In her older age, she was bred to Des's father, which is the sire. All right, which is the mare that I just put up here, but I'm going to put it again. Bam, right there. She was bred to him. Now, this breeding here is very important because it's strictly an army line of dogs, okay? It's an army line of dogs and, and a police uh, uh, line of dogs. And these dogs just been super, super, super duper spectacular. But it's off of one breeding okay now this mother and this father been bred together okay now she only been bred twice all right she only been bred twice um of the first breeder all right she had five puppies okay she had five puppies off the first breeder of the first breeder and the five puppies she had it was male one Boom, put his picture right there. It was male two. Boom, put his picture right there. Male three. Boom, put his picture right there. Male four. Boom, put his picture right there. And male five. Um, no, uh, the 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 sixth puppy was a female. Okay, which is this. Boom, right there. Okay, so. With that being said, it was only one female out that breeding, okay? One female out of breeding. All dogs have been deployed either to the army or police work, okay? Army or police work, except for one male, was actually into a family home, but he was neutered. So keep that in mind, all right? So... Out of all these dogs, police work, things like that, uh, they would be six years old today if some of them was. Uh, there's three of them not alive. And like I said, the male was um, neutered, so he can't breed. And female, which is the dog that I have, which is this, okay? So those guys being like that and um, uh, everybody being deceased and things like that, I have the only living female of that litter okay now let's go to the next breeder all right um the next breeder she was bred to a different male not the same male now the male that she was bred to which is right here bam he passed away which is this father okay which is this father he passed away so it's no more of um he's been bred to other dogs but it's no more 
of this breeding with this dog. Now, her ancestors, everybody, like I said, she's an old dog. It's nothing living off that dog. Nothing ever been bred to this dog. The dog was probably about eight, uh, probably about nine, ten years old before she had her first litter. See what I'm saying? Her first litter. So, yeah, it's no descendants of this dog. Her brothers and sisters, offspring uh, of her brothers and sisters, they was never bred. They're dead as well. You know what I mean? They're deceased as well. So, um, it's nothing been repopulated or reproduced off this line. All right, so now her second litter, she only dropped two puppies, okay? She only dropped two puppies, but this breeding has nothing to do. They're just half-brothers to my dog, this. So out of the two puppies that she had on her second litter, they're not only just two males, no other puppies, just two males. They're actually no kin. Besides being half brother, half sister, because of the same mom, all right? So, what makes this thing history is because of the fact that the breeder got in touch with me and was letting me know, like, hey, man, uh, we'll buy this dog back for 20000 You know what I mean? We'll buy this dog back for 20000 and, and, and it's like, you know, we... We really need this blood back, and if you willing to give it back, you know what I mean, we'll give you 20000 Me not being, I mean, like I said, I don't need the money, and I don't want the money. Like I said, guys, that's chump change, you know what I mean? Um, it's chump change. I didn't want to do it, you know what I mean? I decided, like, you know, um, I love my dog. That's the first, and, and first and foremost, I love my dog. You know what I mean? I like my dog for different aspects. I never knew this about her before I decided not to let her go or anything like that. I didn't want to let her go. You know what I mean? So, uh, as the breeder was saying, I'm the only person right now in the United States of America or in in, the, in history with those two dogs put together and two sought-after dogs have um, on the working dog form and the pedigrees for the working dog, you can see the top five most wanted states that this bloodline is wanted. And I'm going to post it right there. Okay. All the way from Finland to the United States, this dog is wanted. You know what I mean? And the blood of this dog is wanted. And I can honestly say that I'm the very first producer of these two lines that's very sought after. I put those dogs together, and I got a masterpiece. You know what I mean? I got a masterpiece, and, and that's why I keep saying uh, history-making dogs, because they are. Uh, they are history-making dogs, and these are true Belgian Malawas working dogs. And I want you guys to share this. I want you to share this because this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and I really feel this is better than the lottery. You know what I mean? This is better than a lottery because there's so many doors they can open up and so many windows they can open up uh, to different levels uh, with the Belgian Malawai dogs. Um, and and, and I, I swear to you, I'm pit bull to the bone. Okay? I'm pit bull to the bone, but these dogs have potential and they have drive. And endurance is what I look for. And um, that they, they're they they're, they're just no way that I could discredit a Belgian Malinois because they had one of the best attitudes and the more sense that I ever seen in a dog in my life. Okay. Um, but yeah, guys, that's story time. And I wanted to let you know where these dogs come from. Um, we're dropping a picture of uh, two of the grandsires right here, bam, and right here, bam. We drop pictures to the grandsires. Uh, we drop pictures of all the brothers at the beginning of the tape, uh, things like that. But yeah, I'm I'm the owner of the only female that ever came from the last of the Mohicans, and that's what the breeding was called, the last of the Mohicans. And it's no more dogs out there like that besides the dog that I have, and it's the only dog in the United States that is bred that way. So, right, you count your game dogs. 
uh, we have offspring of that dog. So we call that breeding the return of the Mohicans, okay? The return of the Mohicans. I'm proud of that breeding. We did that with Rock Country Gang Dog Kaiser. Bam! Put him right there. And Rock Country Gang Dog Death, uh, which is the queen of the house. Um, other than that, man, we did it, y'all. We did it. And guys, make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you let the world know. You know what I mean? If you watch this video and if you seeing this part right here, go ahead and like it, man. It's free. It's free to like. No charge. You know what I mean? It's free to like. Um, other than that, though, guys, uh, everything was successful. Uh, we got a winner for the uh, Christmas um, the Christmas uh, little giveaway joint. Uh, where you was able to win a puppet if you answer the questions all right. We got a winner to that. So, congratulations. Um, I forgot your name, but congratulations. You know who you are. I'm announcing now. We have a winner for that. He answered all the questions right. Um, and it's going to, I think it's Kansas, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. If I am wrong, but you know who you are. So, right, country game, dogs. Um, uh, all the back at you, man. That was story time. The next story, I seen a comment up there. The next story would be about uh, Chirac. A one-time winner, Chirac. Okay? No, two-time winner, Chirac. One or two-time. We don't know. I have it all the way down, Pat. But uh, that's one of my dogs from back in the day. So, right, Kim Chirac would be the next story time. Yes, sir.